The question is 7 over 8, multiply that by 45, and the instructions tell us that we want to estimate and find the actual product expressed as a mixed number in simplest form. The first thing we want to do then is estimate. And when we have a fraction, we always want to estimate is it closer to 1 half or is it closer to 1. In this case, we have 7 eighths. And 7 eighths is almost 8 is almost 8 eighths, and 8 eighths is 1. So 7 eighths is much closer to 1 half than 1. So for our estimation, we're going to have 1, and we're going to multiply that by 45. And when we do, we are going to get 45. So that's our estimation. Now we want to go ahead and do the exact multiplication. So the first thing we want to do is turn 45 into a fraction so that we can have a fraction being multiplied by a fraction. And when we do, we know that 45 is 45 over 1. Now we want to factor out all of these numbers to see if there's anything that we can reduce or simplify. So 7 is a prime number, so we just have to leave it as it is. 8 can be factored. Let's do that over here. 8 we know is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. So 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And then we have 45 as well, so let's go ahead and factor that guy out. And 45 is 5 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, so we have 5 times 3 times 3 for 45 over 1. So now we have the same terms here, only in a factored out. Now we're looking for like terms that we could reduce with, and unfortunately we don't have any in this case. Sometimes we will, but we don't right now. So what we want to do then is just do the multiplication. And remember that whenever we're multiplying fractions, we just go straight across. We just multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominators by the denominators. So we have 7 times 5 times 3 times 3. Now remember that 5 times 3 times 3 is 45, so we could also multiply 45 times 7. And when we do, we get 315. And then we have 2 times 2 times 2, and we remembered that 2 times 2 times 2 was 8, so that gives us 315 over 8. Now the instructions told us that we want to uh, change it back into a mixed number. So then we want to go ahead and do 8 into 315. And when we do that, we get 3, which gives us 24. The remainder of 7 and 75, 8 goes into 75 9 times, which is 72, and we would get a remainder of 3. So remember that we always use our remainder as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. So our final answer is going to be 39 and 3 eighths. So 7 eighths multiply by 45, or we could also say 7 eighths of 45 is 39 and 3 eighths.